Hello and good morning. My name is John Bali and welcome to this in-depth look at the relatively new Oxbow DLC for Farming uh, Simulator 22, which was released on 13th um, September 2023 as the last pack um, of the year two um, season for this game. So the new Oxbow um, DLC contains um, well basically three different pieces um, of equipment. I will show it to you in the um, shop menu. So here's the Oxbow pack and it contains um, two fertilizer spreaders in different variations a grape harvester and um, a windrower and the windrower is right in front of me and we will start with the windrowers um, for this comparison we will compare it to the Kuhn um, Merch Max, Merch Max, that's the word, Merch Max 950, which is standard in game. The Reiter RE Spiro um, 9R Profi, which was part of the Hay and Forage um, DLC, which was released earlier. And also, we will compare it to the Vermeer, um, the Vermeer R2800 which was part of the Vermeer pack and um, yeah also to a standard in-game windrower we have here the class um, liner 4900 business um, I understand that um, in the real um, world these windrowers definitely definitely serve their purpose um, but here in the game, to be fair, um, it's hard to find reasonable explanations um, to use them. Um, for example, let's just take um, the class over here. Um, the class liner 4900 business is 15 meters wide um, and costs 90,000 euros. So if we divide 90,000 by 50, it's basically 6,000 um, euros per meter of working width and you need a 115 horsepower tractor to run it so this little Zator here um, does the job the disadvantage of this one is um, it only has a center swath to be fair that's um, the disadvantage of this but let's just talk about the Vermeer over here so the Vermeer R2800 is 8.5 meters wide only requires a very small tractor and with 80 horsepower for example this Massey Ferguson here only costs about 50,000 euros which you need um, to operate it and it does its job like a wind rower should um, if you take the 33,000 euros which you need to buy um, this wind rower divided by the 8.5 meters you end up with um, 3,880 euros per meter of working width so this is a wind rower with a very very good very very reasonable price and as you see it does its job so let's now take a look at the wind rowers which have the belt system and some different options which we have over there. So let's start with, with the Kuhn Merch Max 950. As the name suggested, it's a 950, so 9.5 meters of working width. It requires a 140 horsepower tractor and it's 110,000 euros to buy. Um, this ends up being, um, if you take the 110,000 divided by 9.5 meter, we end up at 11,570 euros per meter. The advantage of this is you have the 
um, possibility to switch from left swath to right swath, just like that, or if you require it, to center swath. This is something the, for example, the class wind drawer or the um, Vermeer drawer can't do. This can do it. So if you have running along a hedge, for example, you can really nicely put it to um, the opposite side of the hedge and it works very nice. So this um, is from the belt driven wind drawers, the one with the best reasonable, with the reason, most reasonable price at 11,570 euros per meter. Next is the new Oxbow one. So we have the Oxbow um, 2340. It's 12 meters wide. Let's see it unfold. It costs 158,000 euros, so it's really not that cheap. And this ends up at a price of um, 13,160 euros per meter. Um, this one, um, up and compared to the Kumo, which we had before, only can do left swath or right swath. It doesn't do a center swath, so compare. Okay, it's 12 meters wide, it's um, much wider than the Kumo one, but you only have these two options, which, um, well, is something which you really need to consider. And um, that's why this piece of equipment only ends up at second place um, for me. And if you compare it to the um, other pieces of equipment we have right here. So next up is the last one. It's the Writer RE Spiro 9R Profi, 9 meters wide. and. 125,000 to buy, so it, this will be 13,880 euros um, per meter. So basically, it's per meter um, more expensive than the um, Oxbow one, but overall, it is cheaper and you can switch from center swath to left swath to. right swath or both sided swath so you can have sort of left and right or you can have it in the center where I think personally think the center version is probably the version um, which is the widest the other one as you can see it narrows the whole unit so it probably will in this configuration not completely get the nine meters of working with which it will be probably will be probably a little um, narrower but yeah that's the comparison um, for the belt um, wind rowers so place three is the writer on the second place is the new oxbow one and first place um, from a price performance ratio is the coon but unbeatable of course is the wind rower um, of the Vermeer pack so now let's move on to the bigger equipment. So let's talk about Max Brothers. Right in front of us, we have the Oxbow 80 um, 5105 um, with the dry manure system, and we have here the new Oxbow 80 40103. If you ask yourself where to find these, you will find these under slurry spreaders because these are variations of these two units here. So if we go back to our shop menu and we have to our vehicles, we have slurry tanks here and there we have it. The Oxbow 80-50-105 and the 80-40-103. You select them and there you have the liquid manure system, so the slurry spreaders, which we will take a look at later on, and the dry manure spreader system which are the manure spreaders. 
so and we only have or we do not really have self-propelled um, manure spreaders in the game or in the mod hub. mod hub the only things i could find was the holmer which is over here and this one this is well, let's turn around to get it in better light this back on the back of this um, volvo lorry is the lizard um, sams i solar guy modding and it's this back here which goes well, onto the back of the volvo vnx lorry or there's also a version for the volvo fh16 which both come as part of the platinum expansion um, but i personally think it looks much better on the on the um, vnx than on the um, fh16 although these also come with versions which go on any other truck which have this really really large wheelbase um, this unit um, contains um, 35,000 liters of manure or lime as you can see in the um, Volvo right next to it um, it spreads to 32 meters there is a little disadvantage with the oxbows it doesn't tell you how wide they spread well we, but we will take a look at this um, right away so this slurry spreading unit costs 76,920 euros for the spreader itself which we unfold here and um, 194,950 euros for the um, vehicle. So combined we are looking at 271,870 euros divided by 35,000 um, liters of manure which can be put in this and this will result in 7,767 euros per liter of um, yeah, goods and you can see it spreads to this I assume very unrealistic width of 42 meters but from a pure price um, performance perspective this is the best um, of, of here the best self-propelled manure spreader you can get for your money it doesn't get any cheaper than this so just to um, have a quick look let me just get back to the FH16 just to see if the live spreader um, also goes to that width I don't know if this will be narrow or it if it will also go to the 42 meters um, which the menu does and the other spreaders which we will look at do don't do um, lime either but the lime will go to the same width as well okay so first place is the lizard sums by uh, got it again by solar guy modding so second place is the um, oxbow the oxbow 85105 25,000 liters of uh, manure are in it and um, it costs uh, 480,000 euros to buy so if you divide 480,000 by 25 um, thousand, it is 19,200 per um, um, per liter of um, no per thousand liters so 19,200 per thousand liters of manure volume and let's just take a look how wide this is uh, should be somewhere around I think it's 12 meters mm. we will see later down the line and I will make some measurements and I will tell you at the end um, how f wide I think these two is. So on second place is the um, 
no no on third place though so this is third place now because the larger one was second place third place is the smaller oxbow 80 40 103 um 18000 liters of um manure in it and it's 382500 to buy and um this results in 21250 euros for um, a thousand liters of manure so this one finishes third and in last place is the other one um, self-propelled manure spreader which I could find this is the Holma Terra variant um, 5585 with the Annaburger XM3 manure spreader 17,400 liters of manure in it. It's a variable bag so you can switch um, the bags of this vehicle if you want to. Um, this gives um, a width, um, a spread width in the system whereas the um, Oxbos do don't and this has a spread width of 80 meters so I think the Oxbos probably do the same with them, or maybe they are a little wider. Um, but the Holma Terra variant with this um, manure spreader bag on it cashes in at 387,500 for the only for the vehicle, so only the vehicle is already the same price like this vehicle. And then you have the and I brought it back, which is another 34,000 euros. So in total, we are looking at 421,500 Euro, euros for this unit here. And this is 24,240 euros per thousand liters of manure. So um, um, I will now just do a little check to see how wide these units are. And I will see you in a second. Okay, here we are. So I went to the shop and picked this um, Samsung manure spreader. It's this one over here, the Samsung Flex 23. It spreads out to 24 meters. And as you can see here, come on. So the spread, uh, other way around. So the spreads. Um, are identical so the oxbow and the two oxbow units spread to 24 meters just like the samson whereas the holmer only spreads to 17 no to 18 18 meters so if i only compared the um, tank volume and these already fare better than the holmer one only for the tank size but they also have a wider spread width width so these are quite good machine so let's move on to the slurry tanks so here are the slurry tanks um, this is also an oxbow machine um, so for this one we will start with the worst of the bunch first and unfortunately it's this one here it's the new oxbow 8040 uh, 103 the reason for this being it's also 382,500 euros to buy only has a 16,000 liter tank and we only compare the tank size here because you need attachments to run it um, for this case i put it out the horse joker 8rt which comes part of the new horse pack and if you watched my horse um, video i didn't do it with the um, additions um, for this equipment because the Horsch Joker 8R3 comes under this carrots and you can have it as standard or you have it can have it with the spreader unit or the slurry um, distributor and or both and so I use it here with the slurry distributor so it can run with this machine so um, the machine um, as I said 382,500 um, euros divided by 16,000 liters 
of menu is 13,906 um, euros per um, liter. So it will. Um, so this is the 13,906 um, euros per liter. So it finishes at the last place, but it's still looking good. And as you can see here, the harsh um, joker cultivates the ground because we have a plow field here and you also put slurry down which is quite nice let's just take a short look at the map so as you can see here the slurry is put down and so next on fourth place we have the Holmer Terra variant um, 435 um, the Holmer pack just like the Holmer from the uh, menu spreaders um, is a mod by Giants Software. Um, on the back I have one of the standard in-game slurry um, distributors. You can lower it down here. It's already running and as you can see here it's um, slurring. You can change the um, steering mode on this vehicle which I quite like. If I find the correct... There we go. So you can do this in um, crab steer, which I think is, is quite nice, um, so that you spread the weight better and it um, also twists the angle of the rear attachment so that the rear attachment stays in line. It's a little bit wobbly, but I think it's still quite um, nice. So, this whole Matera variant um, costs um 325,500 euros this is not a version which has a changeable bag you all you only get this with this tank of 16,000 liters and this is a good comparison between we, these two both have 15 uh, no 16,000 liters tanks but the homer is 325,000 and the oxbow is 382,000 so you can basically see you get the same volume um for this unit um, and this unit, but this is um, about 60,000 euros cheaper. So, next on in the row, third place is the, the Oxpo AT5104 with the liquid menu system. It's a 25,000 liter tank and it's 480,000 to buy, so it's 19,200 euros per thousand liter. And on the back of it, we have the Arch Maestro 9.75 RX, um, which also is a, which you find here under planters. And there you have the possibility of a fertilizer distribution system. And so, in theory, you can also um, plant with it. For example, here I have um, 360 liters of seed in it for corn and the 25,000 liters of uh, manure. So, I can now need to switch this on and I can plant and distribute. Sorry, I think it, at least it should. Why doesn't it do that? Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's for liquid fertilizer and not for manure. Maybe I did this wrong. So, but it's about the um, slurry tank and the slurry tank finished third with 19,200 per thousand liters. So next up is this one. This is the Vervet um, Hydrat uh, Trike 5x5. On the back is the Horsch Tiger 8 RGM. Um, this is a cultivator and Fertilizer spreader unit, yes, no. So I hope it will work with this as well. 
Oh, it's also for the liquid fertilizer. So, but nevertheless, we have the Ver Vervet Hydrotrike XL. Um, this machine um, is 346,500 to buy and has a 20,000 liter tank, as you can see. Um, and it's basically the same configuration like the um, new um, Oxbow machine. So it's a trike which has a center front steering wheel. Which I think I did a mistake here as well. So I think it's only a spreader for liquid fertilizer. Let me just get the other unit and then um, we will continue. Okay, so now I have the um, Horsch um, Joker 8RT disc carrel on the back of the Vervet as well and as you can see now it's distri distributing its, um, its content as it should. So this works just as it's supposed to be with the um, slurry spreading unit of the Horsch and not um, with the other two units which are probably designed for um, liquid chemical liquid fertilizer so I will now do this this one as well just to be double sure but I'm quite sure if I hook it up to this it will work with this as well let's just see Fire it up, it's lowered, and there it's distributing its load. Okay. And there you have it, double application rate. So now the strip is dark blue, and you can do this with all machines as well. So I'm now just driving with the Oxbow again. I mean, it's the showcase of the Oxbow pack, but the Velvet. Um, Finishes in second, second, second place um, of this comparison. So now to the winner, which is also an also an Oxbow machine. It's the Oxbow AT um, five fifty one of O four, um, but this does not come as part of the Oxbow pack. If we go into slurry tanks. The, there's the Vervet and there is the Oxbow. These are standard in-game machines. This is the DLC, these two. So this one is a standard in-game machine. I have a Zunhammer um, spreader at the back. It also has the ability to switch steering mode, which I quite like because if you go for the um, crab steer, as you can see, the rear attachment moves with this as well. Um, and we have the crab steer to, well, distribute the weight of the machine much better as it would be in when you um, just drive in a single row. So this machine is 381,000 euros to buy and has a 22,000 liter tank. So it's 17,318 euros per thousand liters. Oh, did they say what, what it was for the weather? The verb met is 346,500 to buy and has a 20,000 liter tank so it's 17,325 euros per thousand liters whereas this one is 17,318 so it's basically head to head you can either pick the, this um, Oxbow or the Velvet it's basically um, the same price performance ratio it's, it's so this is the showcase of the slurry spreaders. So to be fair, um, the Oxbow DLC, well, it finished in the center on um, place um, five and three of five units. So, uh, but it's still quite good equipment. So let's move on. And it's in this one, the Oxbow 6030 which is quite a nice unit. So 
Um, you will find it under grape technology and there it is. And it has three different configurations. You have the harvester, you have the overloading harvester and you have the multi-row sprayer. In front of us we have the multi-row sprayer. It has a 3400 um, liter tank. It's 215,000 to buy and it does five rows. So basically if you just have it and it gets sprayed and you can fertilize um, your grapes with it, it's very cool. And if you divide 215,000 by five, you will end up with um, 43,000 um, euros per row you spray. Um, it's very expensive, don't get me wrong. Um, for example, um, if we compare it to this unit here, it's the um, Caffini Drift Stopper Evo 2000, 2000 liter tank, only does two rows. This is a mod by Pepe um pepe 978 as you can see it only does two rows but it's only 40 um i got stuck but it's only um 62,800 to buy for two rows so it's 31,400 per row so significantly cheaper than the big one but what is the cheapest of the bunch is the one we have standard in-game, the Hardy Mercury 4000, a 4000 liter um, spray tank, also only does two rows, but it's 28,000 to buy, so 14,000 euros per row. So basically you can buy three of these, do six rows at a time, and it's still cheaper than the Oxbow one, but on the other hand you need um, four tractors as well. And you also need uh, three tractors as well, and you also need f two um, workers or friends, because workers don't work on the, um, on the grape field, so you basically need to do this for multiplayer only. Speaking about multiplayer, it's the Oxbow 6030, um, what's it called? Overloading Harvester. The Oxbow Overloading Harvester is also a piece of equipment which is only designed for multiplayer. I mean, if you have it here, you can unfold um, the pipe. When I first saw it and I saw the pipe unfolded, I thought, how does this work? I mean, the pipe is so wide over the um, vines, it wouldn't fall into a trailer. but you can adjust it, put it right into um, that position and then we can just take this little machine. You probably only need this small four-month trailer um, to fit right between the rows. I mean, if we take the larger one, which is over here, You will see it also works but you don't have that much space to maneuver so probably the smallest is the one you go for and then you switch on the harvester drive um, through it and uh, if I calculated it correctly you see on the conveyor belt there's still no grapes on it there they come and in multiplayer you would have a friend driving at the same speed of the harvester right by it and you can overload the grapes into the trailer just like that um, yeah but only a um, multiplayer tool now let's just compare the harvesters which are 100% comparable because now we have three different um, 
grape harvesters in the game. We have the New Holland um, Broad 9070L. We have the um, Eero Grapeliner 7000, which I think is in, by Giant Software, you can buy it for I think $299 or $199. And now we have the Oxbow um, 620 um, Harvester. So we have three rows um, here. So basically, the orientation in which they are located here is um, the rating. Um, the New Holland is 242000 to buy and has a 3,100 liters tank, so it's 78,064 euros per thousand liters um, of tank. The Oxbow in the harvester configuration is 245,000 euros to buy, also has a 3,100 liter tank, so basically it's only 3,000 euros more than this one. Same tank size, um, 79,032 euros per thousand liter. At the most expensive of the bunch is the Aero Grape Liner 7000 with the 3000 liter tank. It's 243,000. Um, so, in absolute price, it's um, a little bit cheaper. It's basically exactly between these two, but the tank size is 100 um, liters less. So, it's um, 81,000 euros per liter. But if you want to save some money, you can because the capacity, there's a small capacity for this one as well. So then it's, um, the tank is even smaller, but um, the machine is 3000 euros cheap. So, but now this is the price comparison. Let's see how they fare. So we will now go up the line and see if there's any difference in the um, yield of the grapes. So, I will see you when these are all harvested. Okay, here we are. So basically the yield is, there's no difference. We have 530 liters in the um, Aero. We have 530 liters in the Oxpo and we have 531 liters in the New Holland. So basically the yield is identical in all machines. Now let's just take a short look at the unloading animation. I think this one is a side tip. overloading animation side tip very nice the new holland is a rear tip go this is how the this one overloads and I think I never tried it before but I think just by the look of it it should be a rear tip as well oops hit the trailer Oh, this was fast. This was way faster than the other ones, but it's also area tip. And there you have it. So this is my review, in-depth review of the new Oxbow DLC. So the conclusion is um, for the grape harvesters, it's right in the center. 
very cool piece of equipment especially with the different configurations i mean you, in the game you can configure it from the spreader unit to a harvester you get two machines in one basically um, which is quite handy um, the wind rower well this is not a unless you really want it or you get it cheap in the used machines market it, it's very expensive and does the same in game the same job as other equipment as well um, the slurry spreader and the manure spreaders are very cool and um, they fit in the game very well especially with the self-propelled manure spreaders we ha don't have these standard in game you need to go back to mods or from giants or other modders to um, have something similar in the game and also the um, slurry spreaders just give us a nice variety of self-propelled slurry spreaders um, with yeah relatively um, high prices to be fair for the new oxbow slurry sweaters but that's it thank you um, very much for watching leave a comment leave a like or even to subscribe don't drive when you're drunk and until next time bye bye